happen? We're going to be going over some BIM 360 admin tips and tricks. And what we're going to be focusing on this time around is a couple of the things that we can do to really manage adding users to my BIM 360 site. So now when I'm looking at my account admin page, I have the ability to say add. And this is where I can add people to my site or host, not to a project. But I can invite members by a spreadsheet. This makes it really easy. I can download a template file here. That template file keeps things really nice and organized. It has the email, which is required, the first name, last name, and a default company that I can assign to people. Once I have all that dialed in, I can then say choose the file, go into this, say open, and say start import. And for 19 users, that took about three seconds. 19 members have now been imported. Perfect, they're added to my site, which makes it easier to add them to projects. Now, Let's say that if what I want to do is I want to add a bunch of users as account admins. Maybe I work for a large firm or I want everybody in my company to be an admin. When I do that, I can't actually use an imported file for this, but there's a few things that I can actually do. A little trick for this is I'm going to open up my Excel file and I'm going to open up Word. So what I want to end up doing here is copying all of those emails and I'm going to paste them into Word, and I just want to have the text. Now, this alone won't do anything. What I actually need to do is do a quick find replace, and what I'm looking for is a special character for the paragraph mark. And what I want to do is replace that with a comma and a space. So when I replace all of these, it's going to look like this. Nice and clean. Once that's done, I copy that to my clipboard, Go back to my project, and there we go. Every single one of them are now set up and easily added as an administrator. All I have to do is hit the invite, and that pops them all in there. Now, that's really easy to set things up for adding them as an account admin. Now, things get a little bit trickier when I'm trying to do this as a project. One of the things that you'll notice is that I can check multiple users and say add, but it won't allow me to add multiple members to a project. And if I actually go into my project, I can say add, but it's not going to allow me to add multiple people. And if I try doing that copy paste that I just did before, nope, not going to have it. Now, that's not to say that this isn't possible. What's to say is, again, another little tip for it. So what I'm going to end up doing is heading back to Word for a second. And since I have commas in there now, what I'm going to end up doing is saying, find replace. I'm going to look for those commas and the space. I want to make sure there's no spaces here. And I want to replace that with a curly bracket, enter curly bracket. So it should look like this now. Now, reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to take advantage of a little tool called AutoIt. So AutoIt's a great little tool. You can script just about anything. And I'm going to take all my emails here. I'm now going to copy paste that into a basic script. So this script is looking for my information. So let me copy in here. I'll delete all those and put in all the other ones. And I'm going to say, save that. Again, all this is really doing is saying send, and it's going to type it in there, because by pasting it, it won't accept it. So I'm going to hop back into my browser. And what I'm going to do is hop into my AutoIt. I'm just going to take my little script here and run that with AutoIt. That pops up, and all I have to do is say, yes, I do want this to run, and then click where it says Enter Names. And there it goes. So this will run through and enter in all of those emails that I put in there. And then when I'm all finished, there we go. Those are all my emails that I put in there. So works pretty good. The one thing I found is that depending on how fast my computer is, I might have to put in a small pause or have it hit enter twice after each email. Just a couple of little modifications to make sure that it's working all smooth. But if I have a project where I have to add 20 people, 80 people, 100 people, and I don't want to sit here for the next hour doing data entry, adding them one at a time, spending the few minutes it takes to learn how to use AutoWit or another kind of a scripting tool, it's totally worth it in the long run. So hopefully this helps everybody, and if anybody has any questions, always feel free to reach out. 
Uh, Peter from Microdesk, thank you very much.